Hello all, this is uh, Serge here again with another video. So, I recently uh, spent a couple weeks in Japan. So, I'm going to be doing a couple different videos uh, for the next couple ones. Because uh, I'm going to show off everything I got in Japan. This first one is going to be a combination of pretty much all the video game related stuff. As you can see all the uh, boxes here. So, we'll go through the... Uh, various items as we're uh, talking here and we will start with pretty much everything for the Nintendo Switch Lite that I picked up. So we'll move this over and we will start going. So first thing is I picked up the uh, Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield uh, limited edition Switch Lite. Uh, you probably, uh, if you've watched my channel, you've probably seen me uh, doing the unboxing of this. So there is the box for that, and here is the system. I have actually I added some uh, grips to the uh, thumbsticks to help me out, so it is good. I will be adding a uh, screen protector to here uh, pretty soon because I. Uh, ordered some and got them in uh, last night so I will be adding the, adding that to it tonight but this has been my uh, daily use uh, switch because I really like it it actually took place and replaced the turquoise one that I already had that I uh, put stickers on pretty much immediately uh, these two are just stuck inside the uh, clear case I have on it. But there we go with the switch. Next is going to be a couple uh, different cases. So the first one we're going to have is going to be this one right here. As far as I can tell, it is a Japan only because I have not seen this one mentioned anywhere before but it does have some uh, interesting graphics on the uh, box it's got part of the uh, map for the Galar region uh, back pretty much just shows pictures of the uh, case so there's the box and here's the case you probably saw me show this also with my the uh, unboxing of the switch light but it is a nice case it has a total of three big pockets so you have this one right here which you can hold miscellaneous stuff in you have a large pocket here which uh, switch will fit in and also uh, it's tight but it will also fit a normal size or OG switch inside uh, so those will fit you have if uh, with Joy Cons on, or if you would like to take the Joy Cons off, there are pockets here. So let me grab mine real quick. And we will show you how this fits. So, like I said, it does fit in here, it's tight, but it does fit see but if you want to make it a little bit easier you can uh, drop the switch there and it has these two pockets here which are perfect size for joy cons now you also have a another pocket here uh, which you have slots for six uh, game carts and then you put a cable or something else in there, headphones, whatever else you want to carry in there. And then on the back, you have a mesh pocket for carrying anything else. Uh, pretty much on my way back from Japan, I had my passport in here so I had easy access to it. It does have a nice long strap so you can actually wear it as like a messenger type satchel. So, there is that. Very nice bag. 
got all your starters and your two uh, main legendaries on there. Now this one is made directly by Nintendo, so it's not a third party making it. So there is that one. Next, I have a, another Japan exclusive. I picked up the Ultra uh, what I don't know what it's called, but the Ultra Slim uh, case that is uh, a Japan exclusive. So there you have it. It with it on the gray, the yellow, and the turquoise. This shows you how to put it on. It also does come with a plastic screen protector, but I prefer the glass. So. Here is the actual case. It is it's a nice uh, dark gray, so it would go really well with the gray uh, standard switch light. So it closes using magnets that are pretty much right here along the edges here. And the switch fits perfectly inside it. And even with these uh, thumb grips on that do add a little bit more weight, it still closes. And stays closed so it is doesn't add a lot of weight doesn't even add that much additional thickness to it so it is great for carrying in your pocket like this if you just want to throw, uh, grab it and go because it's not going to just fall open and the only thing that are really showing are your uh, triggers but the case pretty much helps protect all that so it's a really nice case I pretty much have left it in here. I did buy a another uh, case for my for this switch, which is one of the just standard acrylic uh, plastic cases, which is this one right here. It it is pretty much it's a full enclosure case. One thing I like about this, which is similar to the one that's on this uh, light is there's no hinges you pretty much press two pieces together so it gives you a nice symmetrical design so there's no hinges sticking out here or anywhere else really nice if I pick up another switch light I will most definitely use this on it don't remember who makes this because I threw away the packaging while I was in Japan next we have uh, this uh, case it is just a standard white case um, another directly done by Nintendo uh, so that case is going to be this one right here the one thing I, li I liked about this one even though it is just standard white and it'll probably get dirty really easily is the way the zipper actually has a area to go into so it's not just hanging around making noise so it does open completely you do have a spot for like cables and anything else you would need up here uh, you have eight game card slots for carrying extra games and then switch fits in here nicely and that is with the uh, this is my turquoise with the uh, acrylic uh, plastic case on it so it fits in there without an issue you do have a little bit of a bulge here because you don't have the uh, little dentations like some of the other cases do for that but it is strictly Nintendo and it is it's really nice I, I do like it um, if I wasn't using this case I would most definitely be using this or one of the other cases I have. So, there's that. But it's still nice. And also, if you would like, you can actually put it in with this case. It fits also. It's a little snugger, but it does zip all the way closed. But really doesn't leave room for much else with that on there. So... Next, we will go to the last case that I picked up while in uh, Tokyo, which was this red 
uh, I'm guessing I would say ultra slim case and this one is actually made by Hori uh, but it's really nice um, it is a officially licensed uh, case so that is this one it is similar to the original case that I bought uh, which is the tough uh, Hori tough pouch but I have it in uh, blue the only uh, thing that I didn't like or didn't like about this one is the fact that it is an ultra slim case and but there's no place to add any additional items like they could have actually this uh, thing right here which is what's gonna go over your screen they could have made it so you could put a couple game cards in there and had a flap over or something but if you're just wanting a case to carry around with your switch in it it fits in there really nice it is a it's still a really nice case you've got the uh, Hori and uh, Nintendo logos on the zipper pulls so it is a nice case and it's hard so it's not going to damage it much if you uh, drop it. So there are those. So those are all the uh, cases I picked up while in uh, Tokyo. Now for games. I didn't pick up a lot of games, but I did pick up uh, the physical copy of Oniaki because it's an awesome game. I did the uh, demo and I really liked it so I picked up the physical cart while I was there and has some really nice uh, box art for the uh, inner uh, piece of the uh, label so there is that a uh, second game I picked up if I can keep stuff from falling down here The uh, second game I picked up was Luigi's Mansion 3, Japanese edition, because it does have English. So, instead of coming back to the States and picking it up, picked up the Japanese version. Pretty awesome. And it's got some nice inner, inner cover art. And you also, in that this one, you get this nice little flyer that talks about uh, the software lineup for various games. Uh, pretty much everything I think that's listed on here is already out. So it's not showing any new games to be excited about, but it is nice. So there are, those are the only two Switch games. I did pick up some PSP games. Yeah, I know. I, uh, buy some uh, retro stuff too. So I picked up uh, uh, Sword Art Online for the PSP because I pretty much have all the, the uh, games for the Vita, the PC, uh, not PC, uh, PS4, and Switch. And I have physicals of all of them. So this was a nice pickup. Only uh, about $2 for that game. Then I picked up one of my favorite game series there is, which is uh, Fantasy Star. And this is the Fantasy Star Portable. It's the first one that came out on the PSP. And it, I now have it in English and in Japanese because I still play my PSP. I use my PSP Go most of the time because I've got all my saves on there, but I picked that up. Now, the last game-related item I have, which will be for pretty much everybody on my channel, I picked up a game for the PS2 that I will never be able to play because I don't own a PS2 in English or in Japanese. But I picked this up for about $8 for this reason, because it came with a Figma in it, which is what my channel is pretty much about. So, uh... Yeah, so we will open this up, and so here's the game. Um, 
I'll never play it because, like I said, I don't have a PS2, so I would have no way to play it. But it is a full inbox copy. Uh, I probably won't be putting uh, this Figma out without it being uh, on a shelf by itself. I'll probably uh, put the box up on a shelf. But... I will pull her out. Now, because this is a older piece, it does use the old hand styles. Uh, and something I've noticed, I did notice when I originally looked at it is the hands are a little bit loose, but it looks nice. Um, the only issue with it that was on the label was this hand right here. It looks like it's been either repaired or it's stained with something which I may just take some isopropyl alcohol and clean it up, which should make it look nice. But besides for that, um, pretty much everything is hard plastic, with the exception of the small inner skirt here. So it looks really nice. Her shoes look kind of bulky for her, but it's a nice figure. But there you go for the figure. She does only come with one additional faceplate, which is this one right here. And then she comes with a sword, a standard Figma stand, and a couple different sets of hands. So she has a set of Oh, she, yeah, she has a set of hands for holding her uh, sword. She has a set of hands for waving, a set of fists, and a set of pointing fingers. So that is all she comes with. So, like I said, not a lot, but she will be one that I will probably just keep in the box. So it is not to lose everything. But she doesn't come with a bag, so. I have nowhere to put her extra pieces at besides in this box, but this box will just go on a shelf. And then the only other item I got that deals with uh, gaming or anything like that is I got a mouse pad with this RAM from ReZero. And the mouse pad also came with a mouse, which I may end up using, I may not. So it'll probably go back into the box and not be used so I can keep it as a collector, but as you can hear, it does light up. So there is what's on it. It may not show right, but it is a uh, blue. It's the uh, mace that she uses, or Morning Star, I'm sorry, that uh, Rem uses. does have variable... Uh, DPI, or this is CPI, but DPI, uh, mouse wheel, all that fun stuff, and it is optical, so it's a nice little mouse. But that is all for uh, this first video. Uh, everything else, um, there'll be probably two or three more of these as I go through everything that I've picked up. Uh, next video is going to be on all of the uh, anime figures and st uh, statues that I picked up. But if you enjoy and uh, like the video, uh, comment, subscribe, and uh, like everything down there. And this will be it for this video. Y'all have a great day.